It was a massacre that changed a country. This uh, is and will be one of New Zealand's darkest days. Brenton Tarrant opened fire at two mosques in Christchurch, killing 51 people. He's just an animal. This guy's an animal. The attack was the deadliest mass shooting by a lone gunman in New Zealand's history. How do you plead? Guilty. But who is this extremist? And what happened in those 19 minutes of terror? Just after half past one in the afternoon on March the 15th, 2019, Brenton Tarrant starts live streaming on Facebook from his car. He's dressed in a paramilitary style uniform and armed with semi-automatic weapons. He is about to broadcast a terror attack to the world. Tarrant drives towards Al Noor Mosque. Around 1.40, he enters the place of worship and opens fire, indiscriminately shooting men, women, and children. I actually heard the gunshots, so you can see it's like quite like banging, like tink, 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 you can actually hear it like, you know, tink, 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 like something like that. Because he was shooting bullets willy-nilly. It could have hit even him or anyone. They were just that much milliseconds away from death. When people say these are traumatized, of course they are traumatized. To how can you not be traumatized? The attack lasts six minutes. In that time, he murders more than 40 people. At 1.47, armed police arrive on the scene, but Tarrant is gone. He's already started to drive towards Linwood Islamic Center. This is where his Facebook Live cuts out. I actually saw the gunman driving and he drove very fast. I actually thought and swore to myself, what a crazy man. At 1.52, he arrives at Linwood. He shoots two people outside the mosque before making his way inside. We just started prayer when I had... I've never been to the war. I've never, you know, I've never used a weapon in my life. But I knew this is not normal. And I saw that coward come back from the back of his car and uh, when I asked him who the hell are you, he started shooting at me and I was screaming, yelling at him, come I'm here because I didn't want him to come inside the mosque because we had a lot of people, between 80 to 200 people was praying that day. And uh, I wanted him to focus on me, but uh, unfortunately he came inside and shot a lot of brothers and sisters and he dropped his gun and ran to his car. Uh, then I chased him to his car when he sat on his car because we had a bit of distance. He just looked at me and he just gave me a finger and said, I killed all of you. At 155, Tarrant leaves Linwood Mosque. Seven people died at the scene, two more later in hospital. At 157, his car is seen by a police unit. They start to pursue him. Two minutes later, they stop the car and arrest Brenton Tarrant. His 19-minute attack stole 51 lives. Tarrant published a 74-page hate-filled manifesto prior to the murders. He emailed it to leading politicians, including the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, just minutes before the shooting began. The people who were um, uh, the subject of this attack today, New Zealand is their home. They should be safe here. The person who has perpetuated this violent act against them, uh, they have no place in New Zealand society. More than 1,400 miles away from Christchurch, this is where Brenton Tarrant grew up. Grafton is a city of around 19,000 people in New South Wales, Australia. Family and friends report remembering him playing a lot of violent video games when he was younger and having trouble with women. I, I guess you can't escape the fact that he was from this area. When the media, the media storm arrived in Grafton, you know, there was a, a major sense of denial, um, you know, that uh, we had nothing to do with this and so why tarnish us and our reputation as a community? But I mean, the fact was, this is where he's from. 
Tarrant was reportedly immersed in online culture. He even posted his manifesto to the internet before the attack and encouraged users to watch his live stream. It's such a borderless, unpoliced area that you can say whatever you like, you believe you're anonymous and largely often you are, and you never have to prove you've got the courage of your conviction. He travelled to Europe in 2016 and 2017, apparently visiting sites of crusader battles where Christian armies fought Islamic forces. There's no way of profiling uh, how a radicalised terrorist is going to radicalise, and there's no way of determining ahead of time exactly what that trigger is going to be. Later in 2017, he moved to New Zealand, five hours south of Christchurch, this house in Dunedin is likely where he planned his attack. To know that he, he might have been planning it for the last you know, year or so that he was living next door is, is scary. What do you know about your neighbour? Not a whole lot really. Um, he, he pretty much kept to himself, um, but we'd pass him on the pathway every now and again um, and he was always really friendly. Kind of just makes you wonder like, who, who can you trust? From what we know of this fellow is he stayed under the radar, he's a quiet, a uh, quite disciplined individual that's gone about planning his uh, attack very carefully and very quietly. Uh, my understanding is that he came to New Zealand from Australia not planning to do anything here. Then he discovered actually New Zealand was a good place as any to have a go. He's very dangerous. Um, he's only planning to do something once. He wants to establish himself uh, as the perpetrator of some dreadful act that is going to give him the opportunity uh, in the media space to articulate the message that he's, he's going to do. Brenton Tarrant's attack did change New Zealand, but not in the way he wanted. The country was devastated by the shootings, so much so that a ban on military-style semi-automatic weapons was announced just six days after the attack. Our gun laws will change. Now is the time for change. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Tarrant pleaded guilty to 51 charges of murder, 40 charges of attempted murder, and admitted committing a terrorist act. It's illegal to show any of his Facebook live stream or publish his manifesto. New Zealand is determined not to allow his ideas to spread. But for survivors, the memory of the shootings will be with them forever. It's not something you can forget. I don't think not a single day. I will not feel the depth of the agony you know, we went through that day. His crime? No, I don't condone it. But as a person, I'm prepared to forgive him. Straight up. As a human being, I will forgive him. If he's guilty, Allah will punish him. I'm just human. I'm no one to punish him.